downstairs. How do you interpret? Ah! Ah! Yeah, how do you interpret? Mm, context you, you interpret would be that? important. <laughs> if I'm I mean, hitting her with a scalding hot iron <laughs> bat, and, yeah, okay, if I'm yeah. hitting her from behind <laughs> and slapping her ass with my penis, yeah. then yeah, it's probably fine. Oh, welcome probably to the Anything good. Cast, by the way. I'm Patrick. I'm Eric. I'm Will. And uh, Will's back. Will. I'm back. You're back. I'm back. Congratulations. I, I mean, back in we black. Went, we did two episodes, four episodes. It's been four episodes since it was all three of the boys. I like how mm-hmm. you congratulated me. Yeah, I was on, out a little on bit. Being gone. On being back. Yeah, well. I was out for a little bit because, uh, now I think I've said this on the podcast already, but got a new job. Yeah, I'm yeah, a working a man again. Yeah, Yay. Yeah. Uh, Eric, yep. Eric got a new job. Uh, Will did a small stint in jail. Uh, we bailed him out. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you're back, Will. Uh, you're looking better than the other guy. That's, yeah, that's I mean, important. after the bridge accident in Baltimore, I, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. At, he how, ate a homeless man. I'm yeah. surprised the bond was so low. Yeah, really. I mean, yeah. I mean, you you just barely hit it, though. I do have to say that. <laughs> I am, I'm kind of impressed. Hey, look, look mm-hmm. we, I was breaking as hard as possible. The yeah. court knows it was an accident. I know, exactly. The, you, uh, if, I mean, you'd think that they'd get him a little harder for being distracted, like, while driving. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess they well, luckily, seriously dislike the homeless up there so much that, that they just kind of figured... Luckily, CBT well, doesn't he was show up on the drug test. So. That too. Yeah. The, and the prosecutor had Down syndrome, so that probably everything kind of worked out yeah. uh, really in the end. Yeah. Uh, Planet's really aligned for you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. You really probably did. should be in prison. Yeah. Yeah. You should I mean, really... They said it's going to take at least a decade to fix that bridge. So. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. And how many people did you kill? They only pulled two out of the water. Okay. Yeah, I think most everyone survived for the most part. No. Uh, because you um, no, the lucky thing is, well, not everyone survived. The lucky thing is, there were like some workers doing con- like some work oh, on the bridge the, at the yeah, time, so there like weren't a, a lot of people on it. It like, wasn't none. at peak hours. Oh, okay. Thank God. That's when, the only good news, really, from that. Is that when did you do just, it? There Eric, weren't the good many news is I got back it. home. That's true. The good news is that yeah, and Eric, we got our will back. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now, now the bonus supplement news is they pulled two people out of the water. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, what, what, when you say alive they pulled two or? people out of the water, right? Did they pull two corpses out of the alive, water? The two pulled two alive people out of the water. Oh, That's good. Okay. That That's is good. good. That is good. And how many did they pull out that were indisposed? Shall we? Say? Minimum. Okay. Minimum. <laughs> That's a, That's a good number. I like that. I, like I that. feel like there were only like. 20 some odd people on the bridge at the time that got 22 hit. 22 was the number I heard. Yeah, I feel like it was somewhere you heard. between 20 you and saw. 24. So, well, I mean, I, you probably heard them fall. I, I mean, it's a I, big I was, bridge. You think he could just see the whole thing and yeah, count how many true. people it was were dark. on it? It was dark. It was. Yeah, it was dark. I mean, there's a lot of factors going on. It was. Um, could you do an accurate count of how many people were on a bridge? And also, you could only see the cars. You don't know how many people are in nah, the cars. you can even see the cars, dude. Everything's just a. Oh, also, you're looking up. Up at a bridge. You have you to look sh- down at a bridge to see the fucking cars on it. Duh. Uh, I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. I'm not thinking about this at all. He's on the Plus, water. Y- you guys never knew this, but the I, I don't know if, Patrick, you can confirm this, but I have no good debt perception. That's true. That's well, true. I think we all know that now. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Baltimore news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been watching movies, boys. Like, ah, lots of movies. Yeah. I, I So, I got sick last week mm-hmm. and i got sick so my, i i got sick on like wednesday or something mm-hmm. and then uh the next day was my wife's birthday and i'd already requested off work right mm-hmm. and then i wake up and i've got a fever and my wife has a fever and we're just sick ah. and i was like great so i went to the doctor immediately got some fucking antibiotic steroids and shit called my boss and i was like look i'm not coming into the office tomorrow i feel like shit doctor doesn't even want me to come i'll get all you guys sick so steroids and antibiotics i'm guessing you had some sort of upper respiratory whoa you do steroids yeah dude i'm fucking can't you tell look at me (laughs) but yeah your short temper really uh, yeah (laughs) shut up well (laughs) i I cycle uh, through like a billion steroids a month when i was in the shelter dude prednisone is not a very exciting steroid and that's 99 you were cycling steroids damn i mean no i was cycling through them like to give to the dogs oh damn, okay. you put dogs on steroids i bet they made the <laughs> Some best jacked ass dogs. dogs you see that- a bunch of like super muscular <laughs> pimples like no <laughs> which like one of these pimples are- <laughs> that look like they fucking work out you know? <laughs> <laughs> they got like the jacked arms they're they look uh, like sitting they're around, flexing they're sitting around playing <laughs> poker and then right next to them they're like doing bench presses just all this shit <laughs> dog shit be able to do. Uh, just, no, I'm. Yeah, those are just. Uh, those are just 
medical. Yeah, steroids. medical. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's uh, it's something with their heartworm treatment. Absolutely. I definitely haven't been giving them anabolic steroids. Point being, Just I was like sick slide for a crate filled with like used needles <laughs> under like a shelf, like not a single, not bit. a single thing. Nope. Slide it like yeah, <laughs> slide it behind you with one foot. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Point being, I had like forty eight hours with just me and my wife to do whatever. Oh, you poor man. Yeah, I know. God, <laughs> you know, we only had sex once, Eric. Let's not blow it out of proportion. But uh. So, like, I just sat in my living room, which I have a new living room with a new couch that I got for my wife's birthday. Yes. And the couch is nice as shit. So we've just been chilling on the couch being sick. Yeah. And I have Legit. watched so much shit. And I want to know, can, tell me if you guys have seen any of these. Have you ever seen American Beauty? No. I'm familiar with it, but I'm, I've not seen it. Is that the one where the... I've seen Black Chick Beauty. falls in love with his. Uh, <laughs> that's a horse. Anyway, it's, that's uh, that's American a little Beauty would be a very different movie if it was Black Beauty instead of American <laughs> Beauty. American <laughs> Beauty is about Kevin Spacey as a thirty-eight-year-old man falling in love with, with his, his babysitter, with his sixteen-year-old daughter's best friend. Oh, in high that's school. it. No. That's, yeah, I thought it was like his kid's baby. But if he was falling in yeah. love with a black horse, that you know, isn't, I could probably get into that. I mean, isn't that movie the one that has the famous scene of the guy recording a trash bag floating in the wind yes, or something? Yes, it is, actually. That's yeah. where that comes from. That's and when that, that happened, from. I immediately started singing the song. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing through the wind? Want to start again? Baby, you're a firework. Go on, let your colors burn. <laughs> Yeah. One of us has listened to this a lot. Yeah. Well, I, dude, I amazed my wife. My wife was like, why do you know all these lyrics? <laughs> I Bro, was like, I was in John Tron. I was doing like, I knew that when I was working in grocery. In like 2010 to 2000, like 12. So yeah, I, I heard a lot of Katy Perry songs. So I, I watched American <laughs> I hung Beauty. Out with gay people. Come on. Uh, Will and I watched Interview with a Vampire on the night that he got me yeah. sick. Oh, I saw that on. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, kinda, on, I infected you. Yeah, you Will say. infected me with AIDS, and I uh, saw we that were for watching free on like Peacock or something the Did other you? day. It popped up, and I was like, Oh, the Such original Tom Cruise interviews Interview with a Vampire. I've yeah. never actually watched this. Who's so your I favorite sat down character? And watched it. Hmm. Do you like Lestat? Do you like Louis? Do you like Armand? Do you like San Diego? Yeah, okay, yeah. San Diego is the best character. He just walks on a wall once. That's <laughs> He's the best character ever. That's all you need. That's all you need, dude. You know, I, I don't personally like her, but I think that uh, one of the most interesting characters as far as the story is concerned is the little girl they turn. Claude. Claudia. Yeah. Claudia. Yeah. Like, I thought that was, that kind of adds a lot of meat to the story. You know, they have a, um, you know, they have a book later on where it's about, uh, some other guy and it's a vampire who is a boy like a little boy kind of like claudia mm -hmm. and then the man is just like a fully grown man and uh he's not a vampire at all and he's just like living with this <laughs> little boy and they've got this weirdly homoerotic relationship where he's mm -hmm. like taking care of this little it's like leon the professional but like ah. weird yeah and that book was weird dude kind of like black butler but with less magic yeah yeah less more, magic and more uh, erotic showed us stuff new, uh do you see that new vampire movie coming out which one it i I don't remember what it's called, but basically all these people get hired to kidnap this rich, you know, rich, rich guy's girl. Mm. Uh -oh. And they're getting so Fargo. Paid like $80 million. Yeah. But turns out she's a ballerina. A what? A ballerina. A ballerina. She's a, a ballerina. A woman who dances okay. ballet. Yeah. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. She's a vampire. She's a vampire ballerina. She's, oh, yeah. See, okay. there we go. I, th yeah. I think you probably could have led with that. Yeah, yeah. Probably led with that. I don't think it's really. That... I don't think being a ballerina is a twist. I think that's just a profession. <laughs> <laughs> that's just something people do. Yeah. Like they uh, twist. She flips. He was a hunter. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, what is that? What does that have to do with the story? Yeah. Nothing. That's just his job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. yeah, he, he's very interested in hunting, and it, it, he sells pelts. Yeah, that's uh, they, like, they actually have a whole. That's that's one third of the movie. That's the whole second. They the have second to act. set up that she's. So you have to watch an entire ballet. Ballet. Yeah, it's the whole second act. Mm. It's just a ballet. Yeah, I used to dance ballet, but I honestly. Gay. Hey. Funny thing is, I actually don't like watching it that much. It's boring. It. Yeah, is. it's like ballet's a. <laughs> I'm sure it's a fun terrible to do, form but of boring. like storytelling. It like, is. It's a terrible form of storytelling. That's like, what yeah, it is. Interpretive dance is bad, and ballet is worse. Like ballet no, is better. Ballet's to better than what? interpretive ballet dance. Ballet is better than interpretive. You got you. At interpretive least... dance is better at telling a story, but still sucks. Give me ballet one... is more fun to watch because interpretive okay. dance looks fucking. Give retarded. me one story that's 
in the popular zeitgeist from interpretive dance. I can do one for ballet right now. No, I can do for several for ballet. I mean, obviously, there's oh, then a ballet is obviously the better form of also, storytelling. Also, his wife Inter- loves interpretive stage dance stuff. Isn't uh, you know that's just literally you translating something directly. Okay, it's more Sounds like a form like one of one is a worse form of storytelling than the other. No, no, no. Interpretive dance is just fucking boring. It's easier to understand what they're saying through interpretive dance because you're being more specific about what you're trying to do. Why do you but say yeah. that? Why, what what makes you think that interpretive dance is easier to like what did interpret? I just say? because it's like more is it specific because it's you interpretive? Say, fuck you, that sounds dumb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a, but, uh, well, it's an audio format. People aren't going to see you dancing. You can't no, do but that. That's yeah. the thing is like, you know, ballet is like too frou-frou and all over the place like I, nothing that you're doing is telling me what's going on yeah like you know you're just trying to look pretty what about the nutcracker dude whereas interpretive uh, what about the dance nutcracker? <laughs> it's, an, it's an audio I have format been Eric. in the nutcracker like nine times you, have, you, you really, did not know what was happening did they crack I have your nuts been, i have been a rat i have been a toy you're soldier a rat? i have been uh fritz how they treat you in jail i have been <laughs> And I have been the Nutcracker. Oh, yeah? Yes. How I have been the Nutcracker crack? Prince. Yeah. Uh, just the two uh, that I have because they put me on a flat wooden fucking chair and I had to sit through the entire fucking second act on stage. Jesus. Uh, on a flat fucking wooden chair that was uncomfortable as all get out. And I had to do that every fucking performance. Eric I have shit to do in the first act when I come out as like Drosselmeyer's fucking son or whatever and I, I fuck around for a bit, you know, I say hey to all the ladies, and I come out in the Nutcracker costume, and I fight the Rat King for a little bit, and then me and Clara fucking go to the Gumdrop Forest or whatever the fuck, and they invite us into Candyland, and we sit down, and I stay there until the fucking play is over. He just it did not sucked. know what was happening the entire play. Couldn't follow it. <laughs> Terrible story. I watched it over and <laughs> over and over again. Storytelling. I, I, you have no idea. It took me nine times of being in this motherfucker to interpret the entire story. <laughs> like, <laughs> you could not watch the Nutcracker and glean everything that I just said from what you saw. Well, I like, was trying to think. Like, I was like, wait, so what is the story? Because I've never seen the Nutcracker. So you telling me that, I was like, what? the fuck it's is this about? It's a super simple okay. story. You're like, I'm a guy, I fight a rat, I, I get some bitch, I say hello to all the women, I go to the fucking candy forest, <laughs> yeah. I sit down, I crack my fucking nuts. <laughs> yes, like, exactly. Uh, that is what no, I had to the, do. The, that's yeah. what the, the story is so does. simple. There's a girl, she gets small, she's with, she's, uh, she's nope. get kidnapped by a bunch of rats Wait, now. Is, is Thumbelina the nutcracker? Nope. I don't know, okay. some shit like there, that. She, she ne- <laughs> Will, you're so certain of yourself. Then, you're like, Clara I don't remember. I'm telling you, I saw the movie. Yeah. Clara, she shrinks down. No, she gets kid- Yes, she gets kidnapped by a bunch of rats. Part of the story. And then this guy, he's a nutcracker. He gets turned into a person from a fairy or some shit. Oh my and God. then he also gets shrunk down. And he has to go in there after her. And there's uh, a whole other world. Is this a secret of Anastasia I'll, situation I'll where you've watched and, like a weird version of the nutcracker that your yeah, parents did you rented see that from animated Blockbuster? Movie? Yeah. From yeah, a couple years ago? No, no. I'll tell you what happened. Oh my God. That thing was atrocious. What the hell? Eric, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Happened. Will's parents rented the Nutcracker from Blockbuster when he was a kid. And they took the VHS home. They watched it once. Then ta- they took they, they had a machine that would <laughs> copy the VHS. And then they kept the VHS copy in their house and returned the other one to Blockbuster. Either that or they kept that motherfucker and didn't ever take it back. I know Will's childhood. Yes, I listened to that part of the podcast. God, I heard that. I, yes. yeah. I think it was like Barney Nutcracker. Or not Barney. Ba- Excuse Barbie, me? Barbie's Nutcracker. Okay. And you thought what? You thought that that would be accurate? You were like, you know what? I don't, I don't know, know what happens in the fucking Nutcracker. I, I okay. think it was summed up pretty well enough. I think Barbie <laughs> did a pretty <laughs> damn good job. Did I'll your give sister you the bare watch... bones basics of the Nutcracker right now? I just Here's gave you it. Works. The bitch yeah. shrunk no. down. She gets kidnapped by a rat. The rat wants to marry the Man guy. Man fights in. a rat. Yeah. Man fights a rat. He sits on his nuts. They go to the fucking candy <laughs> they forest. They go to the fucking candy, candy forest. forest. The rats are only in one scene, and they die at the end of that scene. Why? Because they're shot they're with a cannon and stabbed with a sword. That's pretty metal, actually. <laughs> yeah. The first act of the Nutcracker is the only part worth watching. Okay. The rest is just dance. Okay. Like, stuff happens that you can actually see happen in the first act. And then after that, it's just the the chick and the Nutcracker guy sitting in the back watching everyone dance for them. Did you fuck the chick, at least? No. Damn. No, no. I did not get... I did not get laid until, uh, let me think. Last month. Uh, it was Yesterday. about six years after I quit ballet, yeah. Okay. It, I did not score. 
during that time. Uh, speaking of all. scoring, I watched Eyes Wide Shut, the Tom ah, Cruise movie. With, I also have not seen that, but I'm very familiar with it in the zeitgeist. Yeah. Stay woke. It's uh, Yeah, exactly. Stay woke. That is what that movie was about, Will. Tell mm. me, what do you think Eyes Wide Shut is about, Will? Uh, I think Eyes Wide Shut is about... Uh, well, so you got Tom Cruise, yeah. and like mm-hmm. he's walking... He'll say he's walking in a dark city. He'll say, he'll he say I'm uh, walking here. He'll say, yeah, yeah. He'll say I'm and, walking uh, in a dark city. Mm-hmm. And uh, it turns out he is, in fact, walk- walking in a dark city. Okay. okay. And uh, So it's like a voiceover narration. It's, it's one of those like moments when the scene is coming down. and Yeah, the camera's panning down. And it's down. only him in this alley, but like it's also yeah. kind of misty, and like you got the smog, and you got the puddle that he steps in. Okay. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. You get like a frog, shot of his foot. And if you kiss it, it'll turn yeah. into a prince. Yeah. Yeah, and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so then uh, he he's going and then like he hears a noise from an alleyway that he passes, uh-huh. right? And he's like, "What?" And like he turns back and he's like, he's looking down the alleyway, and then like I don't know, he sees like a tentacle slurp into some garbage cans. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! And uh, then uh, he goes to investigate it, like everyone does. Right. Yeah. And then he gets slapped in the face with a tentacle monster. And so now he's blind, but his eyes are wide open. Oh. Oh. Eyes wide shut. Wide shut. So then he becomes a superhero that fights the mutant uh, octopuses since they can't hurt him anymore. Yeah, they upgrade his senses. They rebuild him. (laughs) Tom Cruise becomes fucking Daredevil. That's your version. (laughs) But he fights mutant Daredevil. He fights mutant uh, alleyway octopi. Uh, uh, You know what? That's better than what Eyes Wide Shut is actually about. (laughs) 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 I'd rather watch that movie. That sounds like a neat movie, to be yeah. honest. Eyes Wide Shut's about, like, Tom Cruise and his wife, like, having, like, a sexual fantasies, and then Tom Cruise goes to, like, a cult meeting, and then it just fucking devolves. Oh, cool. It's it's a not it, a very fun movie. The famous, I believe, section from that movie is where they go to a, like, highfalutin orgy, and everyone's wearing, like, weird masks. Yeah, that's the cult. And they're all, like, naked. Cool. They have, like, a single robe. You've and seen like it a really in like pop mask. culture. I've seen yeah, it. you've yeah. seen it referenced a lot before. Yeah. It's uh, I mean the movie is kind of whatever though. Yeah. I did watch Andor. I don't know if any. Oh yeah, what do yeah. you think of Andor? Andor. Uh, yeah, Andor, the new Star Wars show. I thought it was the best yeah, thing Disney it? Star Wars has put was out. Was it pretty good? It's no. uh, it is not great, but it is good. It is definitely better than anything else that they've done. Like Will, I said. think it's the most serious take from well, like being the... a rebel in Star Wars that they've ever done. Hey. hey, hey. I will say, first two seasons of The Mandalorian, pretty fucking good. Yeah, this is better than no, that. No, season two really fell off. Season, season one was really two? good. Yes. With that finale? The with finale Luke? is the reason it sucked. You didn't like the finale? Bruh. What? With Luke Dude, swooping in, saving them the last What about that robot? Minute? And then they were like, oh no, we gotta go get the Rancor and blah, blah, blah. Dude, I what? didn't watch it. The Rancor? Yeah. That's Boba Fett. That's the book of Boba Fett. Oh yeah, I hate that one too. Yeah, Book of Boba Fett was... You know, maybe season two was good. Maybe I'm thinking of season 2.5 of Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah that's, like, that's the Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mandalorian just straight up, like, stole two episodes. It like, did. It, it was like, Boba Fett, episode one, two, three, four, five, Mandalorian, Mandalorian, and then the finale. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was it. Like, it's like awful. Boba Fett took a back seat for the in last like three TV episodes show. of his own TV it was show. Awful, dude. The opening to Andor is really strong, though. Dude, it sucks because the actor's doing a great job. Tamara Morrison or whatever the hell his name is. I don't know. He's, the guy uh, Boba Fett. The yeah, fat the guy, guy who plays uh, Boba Fett. Yeah, he does a great job. Yeah, he's like sixty pounds heavier than Fett. he should be, or something. That's, he's also the same guy who played Django Fett. Yeah. Is he? Okay. Yeah. Because they actually referenced that in there, where, um, well, again, in the better series, The Mandalorian, that came before it, there was a whole thing. Where the Mandalorian, you know, takes Boba Fett with him to try and recruit a couple of other Mandalorians. And the other Mandalorians are actually pissed and insulted that Boba Fett's there. Because, uh, you know, a lot of them were slaughtered by clones. Oh, yeah. And Boba Fett is a clone yeah, of Jango true. Fett. He's just one that didn't have the rapid aging thing. So he, they, they were just like, yeah... I've heard that voice a million times oh, and okay. silenced I can see it how like a be. million times. Like, you know, I've heard that voice gunning for me. Now that I think about it, why do the clones again? in uh, the Star Wars clone squad game that came out on like the GameCube, why did they have different voices? Shouldn't they all sound the same? It was early they were, in the uh, development and at that time they didn't have uh, the idea of, oh, all the all the clones are going to be perfect Jango Fett clones and that they're going to be brainwashed into... Well, or actually, if they were you, just kind of brainwashed soldiers in the very beginning. Uh, if you want to, um, 
uh, hand wave it with in-universe logic. Um, the Republic of Mando, which is the game you're referring to, um, all of those guys are uh, custom models. Oh, okay. They've all been specifically tweaked to be good at specific roles as squad members. Okay. And they're for special forces. So hey. you could kind of just hand wave that as they sound different because they tweaked with the genetics hey, and all G- of them. Hey, you know. Gbo, uh, that one there, make, yep. make his voice deeper. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, I'm obviously, really, I'm really it's arbitrary. Into that. You're, really, you're really into that. It'd be good for battle, I mean. Little Boba, I don't know if you should be talking like that. It, it'd be good for battle. Yeah. I think. Okay. I think. Cool. I think one having a of deep them voice. Would, Django, I'm trying I to talk to your son. They please. should have different accents. Django, please. They Jesus. should. All four of them should have different accents. I, gotta, I, gotta, I, I think it'd be really commanding in battle if they had different voices and different accents. Can you please make your son, your son, shut up? I am trying to do my job here, and I, I mean, to be honest, I want to is... have more input on the clones, even though I know nothing about cloning <laughs> science. Oh, Me too. God. I want to have more access to the clones. It's just Django fan you guys are like super annoying, constantly <laughs> bothering the fucking. <laughs> all right, all right. Aliens. You guys can live on the planet with what us. How about called? that? I mean, I, I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now, though. It rains here every damn day. Kamino. It don't do, it don't do nothing but rain. Kaminoans. Kaminoans. I like the idea that ca- the ca- Kaminoans. 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 The big tall white guys. Yeah. Are the, the big spindly Sam, tall Samuel white guys. Samuel Jackson, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all have fucking <laughs> Sam Jackson's voice. <laughs> Because I remember in the movie, they were just, they had like wispy voices. They were just like, yeah. come here. You know, like they had the uh, high pitched wispy, wispy voices. Wispy voices? Yeah, yeah, I think they had wispy they voices. They were just like, they? hello, Master Jedi. Like, we've, you know, completed all of the things to the your requirements. The sex clones to your requirements. They sound like, you know, gentle Army. scientists yeah. is what they sound like, which I is like what they are. I like them being Samuel L. Jackson. I like, that's a lot better. Honestly, they should have taken... I'm these motherfucking clones in this motherfucking <laughs> cloning facility. Yes, mm-hmm. Will. Yes, references. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Andor's got like a really strong opening, though. It's pretty cool. Uh, hmm. I think I might have watched the first episode of that. I thought I liked it, and How I just didn't you pick get? it back up. Uh, I'm on episode three or that, four. What's the last thing that happened? Uh, he and the guy who's totally not going to end up being a Jedi got off the planet together. <laughs> The guy with the cane. Oh, no, he's not a Jedi. He's gonna be, dude. Trust he's me. He's not. Why? One, because he's just, he's a rebel. He's the head rebel spy. Dude, he's gonna be secret Jedi. And also, I'm you gotta remember, it. this is when only Luke was the only Jedi. I yeah, know. There I'm, are four sensitive people out there uh, who will never become Jedi. Yeah, sure. I mean, he's no. not gonna be, like, part of the Jedi Order. I'm just saying, he's gonna be, like, force sensitive, dude. That fucking cane looks so much like a goddamn lightsaber. I'm fucking calling it. Well, also remember, there are... Uh, non Jedi force disciplines out there. Like there was. I don't um, fucking know. I don't. What What do I look like? A guy well, who cares about the Star Wars universe? I don't know what that fucking means. Have you ever seen uh the well, that actually, movie? The um, what's the movie called with the rebels in it? Where they Rebel uh, One, Rebel Moon, Rebel One, Rebel Moon. No, I think a it's Rebel thing. One. Okay. Rebel Moon's a different thing. Rebel One. Yeah, uh, you know that movie where yeah, they the one the that Andor's from. Yeah, yeah, the the one that is the sequel to the show that we're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I was gonna say because in that one of the characters is a you know that's a true. Monk. He's like a he's like a monk dude. Uh huh. And he's not a Jedi, but he you Wait, know no, can use the he, force to a very very minor degree. Wasn't he kind of? Wasn't he like a no, little he's a, training apprentice before they killed all the Jedi? Well, okay, so people like him, people like him probably were a part of the Jedi Order. Botanical Garden. What it is, is with Which people is like him. Thing. The what? So if you were very strong in the force as a Jedi yes, and okay. no, no master picked you up, you were assigned to the Jedi Botanical Gardens. Okay, what the so fuck does that mean? You took well, care of flowers? Yeah. yeah well, really? You, yes. No, okay. You took care of gardens. Basically, because, you know, Jedis and, like, good force users have the ability to like you know, kind of like tap into the life stream force of everything they literally send them off to farms and they use their force sensitivity to do farming better and so some Will's of them, nodding his head so i know this is real because so, will like knows so much about the star wars universe i fucking you do get some offshoots they're kind of in the middle where they still really sure. weren't super strong enough in the force or anything and these guys become like scholars and monks you have that just study the force and again sure 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 you know, they do things like studying the Force. And that's what, uh, what was it, like, Donnie Yen or something? I forget who the actor was. Or, no, it was... I fucking hate really Star famous, Wars, dude. <laughs> I, like, the more the more I learn about Star Wars, the more I hate it. I'm like, God, What's it's it so The lore goes 
deep. It with, goes like, obnoxiously deep. What's for another a, thing that it's you hate? Always about had it? Mandalorians. Huge world building. Okay, what about like Mandalorians? A, they're just basically humans, but they're mean. Oh, dude. that's it. No, no, they're just okay. assholes. You're confusing something. Mandalorian hasn't been a species for years. I know. And I played years. Coder. Okay, yeah, so like you I know. know that like they're not they yeah, just but they're just up. Krogans. It, it might it might they're just you. Krogans. Well, they're not genetically anything. They they just pick people up. It might, you I know. can be it, a different kind of alien, and you... a Mandalorian could pick you up and you know just bring you into their society. They got uh, they got wiped out by the Empire. Yeah, I know. I I remember he tells you that in Coder, doesn't he? No, or Coder is happening. Coder years happens and years a and thousand years, years before that. Before thousands that. Yeah, of the years. Empire doesn't exist for a couple thousand years after Kotor. Then maybe I just looked it up on the Wikipedia after I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, no, the Empire. Um, Empire glassed the planet. Yeah, Mandalore, the planet still existed during the Clone Wars era. And it was fought over back and forth by the separatists and Wait, the republic. Did they glass the planet with the Death Star? No, no, no. Wasn't the, the point Star... of the Death Star that they could glass planets? They only with got it? to glass no. one planet with the Death Star before the rebels took it out. Then no, no, why no, no, did no. they build the Death Star? To they could glass planets. Because it was part no. of the Tarkin doc- the uh, Death doctrine. Star the what? Complete... The Tarkin doctrine. What the fuck is that? That's it's when... Tarkin. Okay, you know who the fuck is well, Tarkin? Calm down, I'll tell you. How do you not fucking know who Tarkin is? So you know the guy in in uh, on the Death Star who was like, you ain't five. When ready, remember that guy? No. Oh my god! The what, only what? guy who was over Darth Vader. Yeah, in the you Death remember Star. the tall fucking guy with the big the head? guy that they recreated the, with CG? Yeah, yeah, that, that guy. guy. That guy. Yeah. <laughs> what? That guy. That was an like, important character. He, he was, was the Tarkin. commander of the Death Star. He He's was the, the guy was in the, charge was, of it. He was the left hand of the Empire. He was the only person on that base who could tell Darth Vader what to do. In that moment, technically, yeah. Anyways, like, and literally, I'm sure that worked and out if somebody for him. else, he well, blew he up. blew up in the yeah. Death Star. Oh, uh, okay. But um, uh, <laughs> but, but, but the reason it was called the Tarkin Doctrine, or do- yeah, uh, was because the because Tarkin went to the Emperor whenever the Empire formed, and he was like, "Hey, uh, I don't think we spend a whole lot of money on the Navy, so let's spend a lot of money on being intimidating, and then we won't have to spend so much money on actually being like that guy." He basically okay. said, "Let's in let's invest in." More nukes, less bombers. He he's the reason that the empire isn't as efficient as it could be. Yeah. Okay. Now, what he was just like you're just like oh yeah he was like a main important character but he was like a shitty guy. Also, kinda yeah. As yeah. far as intimidation well, he, he, and efficiency is concerned, when you're glassing a planet, that just means you surround it with all your big ships and you fire lasers at until the surface is uninhabitable. With okay. the Death Star, you literally destroy the planet. There is nothing to go back and fix. It's gone. Okay. Now it's that you can really fix a gone. glassed planet. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you fix the glassed planet? You, you can still might, mine for resources and shit on it. Can it's live still there. Like you know, a glassed planet, it still exists. Yeah, I guess a Death it's Star a destroyed planet. Yeah, and you can mine on it. You can do all sorts of shit with a planet that's uninhabitable. You just it's have to still be careful. There. It's glass now. Yeah, is the, is the, I mean, is yeah. Watch Wars, your feet. <laughs> is the Star Wars we're, world we're one boots. galaxy? Yeah, it uh, is. Well, yes, but there are other galaxies, and stuff has come from them, and they have gone to them. We have never gone outside of the Star Wars galaxy, though. But Jesus it's Christ. not outside of in the legends. There was a. Uh, they the, have a name for it. Is it the Milky Way? No, no it's a faraway galaxy. Okay. It's a galaxy far, far away. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Of colloquially, course, of course. it's the galaxy far, far away. Okay. Yes, but um, I don't know if it has an official name in canon. It probably does because everything does. Every background the character Skywalker in a Star galaxy. Wars movie, yeah, the Skywalker has galaxy, has like a profile, a name, oh. a first name, last name, and has a fucking backstory. You want to get into minutia? Do you did you know that the guy who pulls the lever to shoot the Death Star has a full story? What? Yeah, actually multiple. What the guy who like pulls the little yeah, lever? That, that goes, yeah, Boo. you know, yes, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. So when I'll, the I'll, t- I'll tell you about that one guy pulling that lever. That motherfucker has a name and a backstory. I'll tell you a story. I don't remember his name, but I'll tell you a story. He has two <laughs> t- stories. So uh, one's canon, one's not. I'm not going to tell you which. Okay, it's okay. It probably doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, they, they, they line up fairly well. The so, fact that they cared to change uh, it later. One story is that um, he the fir- when he pulled the lever for the for uh, uh, Aldrin. Alderaan. 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 Uh, How do I know that better than you do? I guess because I watched the movies and you did. A million voices spoke out. Yeah. Yep. Yelled out and were suddenly silenced. Anyways, yep. he pulled he pulled the lever and he felt real bad about it. 
So when they got up to Yavin and uh, he, they, he was like, you may fire when ready, he hesitated for like a few seconds wondering if he could do it. And that's what led for Luke Skywalker to have enough time to blow up the Death Star. Or alternative, you like, if you like to take the more uh, hero route, um, they had a whole comic line where... Um, a whole comic line? Dude, stop. Okay. There's actually, a lot more than one. So, sorry, this is actually a different person, but I'll tell you that story too. So the other story is uh, basically... This guy, uh, actually, no, this is just a different, right, different person, but he was okay, the last yeah. surviving guy of Alderaan. Okay. Alderaan. And uh, he was on Darth Vader's flagship. You know, Darth Vader survived the battle yeah. of Yavin. And uh, <laughs> Darth Vader wanted to see if he was still loyal. So they flew over to this moon where there was just like a random surviving little refugee place. And like, you, you don't know who they are. And he's like, they're traitors. Shoot them. Okay. And so the guy's like, if I shoot them, they make me feel bad. But if I don't, Darth Vader is going to kill me. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so he's like, so he hesitates, but he does it. Well, it's like the pilots and, uh, of the Enola Gay and stuff. Darth they were Vader's just like, like, oh, shit. Good job. That was the last surviving members of the Alderaan. That oh. was the only thing you had left. Good job, buddy. Why is he? And why I think he, he ended up killing himself or something like that. Okay. Just, well, at least uh, it's not the guy who pulled the lever, I guess. The lever I just guy did died. A, I just did a quick Google of this because you, you seemed a little shocked that this other character had a full comic run. I did the quick Google search. How many Star Wars books are there? The list of Star Wars books 760. is long. All the Star Wars books put together make for around 381 books, not including comics and other media like short stories, collected stories, and secret history publications. I thought that would be, I, yeah, I thought that'd be way more. Mm. I really did. I, I, my dad read some of those when I was a kid, and there are a lot of them. According to my dad, when you're in the Marines, really all you can do is just like sit around and read books. So he just read the Star Trek and the Star Wars books like endlessly. That was basically what he did. At, in his service. Yeah, nerd Who's shit is Who's your favorite like, Star Trek character? I don't watch Star Trek. Give so me I one of them. Picard. Yeah. Uh, Everyone loves Picard. I, I'm trying to think of any I, character. I'm going to judge you for it, too. I'm trying to think of any character's name besides <laughs> Picard. I really am. I'm really struggling right now. Uh, who's the... You like Jordy? The guy that sits backwards. Oh. Oh, Jordy LaForge, I know. Second, I know second who that in is. command on the Enterprise. Oh, Riker. Riker. Riker, yeah. yeah. Riker. There you go. I know, there you Riker, go. There's Riker's another, a good choice. There's another character I know. You, you you would probably actually like Riker as a character if you watched Star, Star Trek. I can't watch it. I lose interest like immediately in Star Trek yeah, every time. Yeah, because I think it's pretty interesting. Dumb. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you're telling me. I need... I, I just don't want to take the time to invest myself in something that I feel like is going to do me no good on this planet. Like, when will it ever do me any good to watch Star Trek? I guess in situations like this, where I'm talking on a podcast, about people say, be, yeah, I guess. talk about Star Trek. Well, my, get my wife in here. She knows she watched every fucking show of Star Trek that's ever existed. Oh, wow. I didn't like know she was such 10 a big fan. years ago. No, she's not. She wasn't even a fan. She just found out she could. And then she was like, yeah, I guess I'll watch all of this. Yeah, and then did. Fair enough. No, not fair enough. I learn a talent. Learn to like <laughs> learn You've an never instrument. Never a long TV show. Uh, no, not really. I mean, really. I'm trying to think of one. Does Dragon Ball Z count? I mean, I watched that over sure. like the course of like six years as a child. Eh. So uh, yeah, really no, that's uh, yeah, that's not binging. That's just watching it as it comes no, out. No, I have never watched like One Piece. I've never binge watched Naruto or hmm. you know like any any of that stuff. I look at like the number and I go certainly my time on this planet is worth more than watching all of One Piece. If you want another old sci-fi property That's why that you like watch it started while you work out. a long time ago, but like has existed all the way up until now and has been slowly improving over years and years. You know. Genshin Impact. Yes, get, yeah, absolutely. Yes. I called that Gaijin Impact earlier. Genshin <laughs> Impact. Genshin Impact, well known for coming out in the mid '60s, yes. you know, and being it was only a on staple, phones at the time, though. A staple of sci-fi at the time, you know, yeah, because Tamagotchis totally didn't, you know, not exist for another twenty-five or thirty years. But anyway, uh, no, I was actually referring to Doctor Who. Oh God, fuck that, dude. Oh fuck yeah, let's that. get you into Doctor Who. No, dude, Doctor my dad nice. started watching it, and I legitimately called him gay to his face. I, my dad my was dad like, "Who's your Who? favorite Doctor Who character?" 
Uh, I've never really watched a lot of it. Uh -huh. I've, I've always been like kind of a fringe fan where I've like, I watch other people watch it and I'm like, oh yeah, this is cool. This is neat. Yeah. You know, I like this. This right. is uh, pretty cool. I watched a whole breakdown of all the old Who, the classic Who. You know they lost a lot of that footage. Yes. A lot of the first season just doesn't exist anymore because the lost BBC media. recorded over them. Lost it was black the and white. I mean, it, yeah, it's Yeah, it was old. black and white. Lost it was mostly media. just an educational TV show at the time. It was the idea is like the, the doctor was like an older man and he would take his uh, nephews with him and like show them shit from history and then it evolved from there what was that it's like that show with the kid and the dog yes they like, yeah, yes it's, it's it was that. exactly like that yeah. that was <laughs> it was like that with a slightly cooler premise it's wishbone but and with like then, a cooler premise yeah that's, that's not wishbone wishbone yeah was, i know uh, wishbone's the cool he, one he, he, he walked into books that yeah. was his thing which ruled yeah it was very wish. very good what wishbone kind of was awesome wishbone. you know what else was a good book what kind series? of dog yeah what kind of dog was percy there? jackson I hear that those are good. It's not so the, good. not anything that's been produced, you know, visually speaking on screen. But yeah, Disney's uh, coming out with a new thing. Are yeah. they? Yeah, we'll I'd see. Be how, we'll see that. how they fuck that up. Well, they fucked the last one up. Did you yeah. see how much they Wait, fucked up Disney Artemis Fowl? I think so. Did they? Oh mm -hmm. my god! I uh, <laughs> dude Disney did what? Art, how much? They, how they fucked up Artemis Fowl? Did they? Oh, I mean, yeah, it wasn't dude. hard. Artemis Fowl's not that good, but dude, yeah. I, you want to know my story? If they the... take a not very good story and slaughter it anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what they, uh, Ooh, uh, that's what they did. Got Disney some would never. vibes going on. Disney would never. Yeah, no, but like uh, we all agree, into Artemis Fowl, good for one book. Rest are trash. Uh, I actually never read them. I'm trash. just aware of the uh, thing. Like, when I was in high school. Uh, so, you know, I, Artemis Fowl came out, right? Like mm -hmm. you were. Yeah. I remember people Middle being fans school? of it back yeah. in the day. So. I Artemis Fowl came out when I got my car and oh. I had to drive myself to school. So instead of driving to school, I would drive to Walmart, read one page of Artemis Fowl and then fall asleep in the Walmart aisle with all the books sleeping up against the rack. No. Yeah. So, huh. you know, that's my experience with Artemis Fowl. The Walmart Actually, sounds kind of come nice. by and throw some it water was in her face. Not really. <laughs> okay. yeah, the, the Walmart people eventually caught on to me. were like, all right, you're going to have to get uh, the fuck out of here. Just like when I was a kid going to the Pokemon meetings at Books A Million. Until I found the sexuality section. Oh, yeah. There and you I go. just sat down in that section. Hell, yeah. I was yeah. just like, oh. As a child, going to that Books A Million, I remember I would go to the manga section, and then there would be, like, some manga that were in plastic wrap, you know? And then I would see if I could find one that wasn't in plastic wrap. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, I know I know this is going to be some good shit. Yeah, this is this gotta, one's this in plastic wrap. This one's got to have titties in it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I need them anime titties. God, that's going to be such <laughs> a... Do, 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 do. That's <laughs> such a, like, a relic of our own past. Oh, like, yeah. That will not exist in the future at all. Once I they figured put, out uh, the original put... Dragon Ball had Bulma's titties in it in like, the first two issues, I was just like, I'm there. You're set. I'm they there. They put... Uh, uh, they put plastic wrap over adult magazines in the Barnes Noble. Did yeah. they? Yeah. 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 yeah no. Well, they do it today. Do they? Oh, yeah. No. If you want to get like a Hustler or a Playboy or something, you can get those at a Books Million or a Barnes and Noble, but you have to go to uh, the customer service stand. You got it. We'll have some displays on the very top shelf that you can't actually get. <clears throat> you have and to then... drive exactly 20 <laughs> minutes north of our current position. Yeah. If you go that way and then turn off on exit 86. Here are the coordinates. B. Walk... And then turn off on Barnes. <laughs> Walk two miles west. Now, you just have Face to ask the for sun. <laughs> That way, people don't steal them. Yeah. Because if we just left it out there, people would steal them. Not even because they were bad people and they wanted to steal it. They were just too embarrassed to buy it. Oh, yeah. They wanted it, and they didn't want it for any reason that you should be ashamed of, because that there's only one I reason to buy fucking porn. I think we've asked this before and you answered know. it, but uh -huh. I'm, just, I'm just checking on everyone again. Yeah. All right, you're in Japan, surrounded by a group of people, but... Japanese people? Yeah. I scream. But... I kill myself. Over in an alleyway where they can all see you is yeah. the used panties machine. Oh, yeah. We've been over this. You said you wouldn't buy one, and I told you I would buy used panties, and then I would frame them on my wall. And if I went to Japan, I'd buy your ass some used panties and bring them back to you and get them framed for you to put up on your wall. Okay, okay, okay. They, 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 they took down that machine. They uh, Even the nasty town that that one machine was in, they were just like... Look, too nasty. Too nasty. Everyone knows that we're degenerates. But I put my foot down at selling soiled underwear also, in a vending uh, machine. I saw something else that so, was like, oh, that's really smart. So like one lady was like, oh, yeah, I sell used panties. And the way she does it is basically she opens a can of tuna. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. And then rolls it around a little bit oh and then just like God. empties it out. It's like, boom, used panties. Uh, that's hilarious. Yeah. 
I that hate that. Is a smart person. I don't care if you're if you're scamming people who are just like being degenerate in the first place. I feel like it's kind of fair game. You Absolutely. know what? The used you know? penny machine apparently died, and now it's back. Nice. Oh, they brought it back. They brought back. it back. Came used back pennies are back on the menu, back on boys. The menu. <laughs> <laughs> What about their panties? <laughs> they don't need those. Come back. <laughs> Just to nibble. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit more. What, what happened? Why is it back? Uh, yeah. and they got. They brought them back in 2014. Apparently, God. They, they before the to... Trump presidency. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's surprising. They were like, we got to get. It was this. a liberal era. Era. You know, Obama <laughs> was still in presidency. <laughs> yeah. It's, in the early 2000s, local laws were amended to make it illegal to buy those products from minors, especially those under the 18, age of 18. Oh, I really hope Christ. so. Oh yeah. Uh, vending machines for use. Pen underwear are still in existence. The items inside are probably from the 20s to 40s. Rarely high teen underwear over the age of 18. Uh, so the store sense. sellers who put up vending machines stop buying pants from underagers. Good to know. I don't know why. Why is this in this article? Why? Why? Hold I on. Hold on. Like, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. know the like, business. I promise you, I none of them the came Japanese. from minors. <laughs> like. Um, I want to know the Japanese businessman who went to a high school and was like, oh, give me your panties. Yeah. Actually, put the music behind it. <laughs> <laughs> put like some put some uh, some oriental music behind that. You look like proper school girl. <laughs> I give you good rates. <laughs> you, how much do you think he paid I'll them? give you double if you shit your pants. <laughs> 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 like, I give you a double if you shit your pants. <laughs> oh, oh uh, I need to clarify something. Yeah. Um, since You're not gay. Yeah. Uh, no, that's just not so true. So to well, all the Catholics who still view us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None of them. I'm sorry. I did generalize. I did. Okay. Okay. If I you walk it kids, back. kids, fuck you. But I know Some, that most of you don't. Okay. Unless you All of you are weirdos and a weird large majority diddles kids. Okay. But not all of you. A weird large majority? What it do you consider? It keeps making the news. Yeah, I mean, it it's not so much I, I individual say, Catholics I say it's a weird large it is, majority but... when you keep making the news. Yeah. Much like, you know, the church in most places, it's not so much the individual members that I'm mad at. It's the organization itself for, like, hiding yeah, and defending shit. these people. Like, I don't care about you individual Catholics. As long as you ain't diddling kids... Quite frankly, don't but, get offended. But, but your priests did diddle those kids. But let's be honest. The, on, the, on a 50-50 scale, the chances that you might diddle kids because you're Catholic gets weirdly heavy on one side. Gets weirdly heavy on one side. Look, if you were a Catholic priest, you'd understand. <laughs> you're, it, you're getting put in that position, you I know? Mean, yeah, it's one thing to spread rumors. Goddamn it's sexy, another thing. sexy teenagers. <laughs> it's another thing when I'm watching a video and I hear a statistic that's just like, Oh, yeah, like one out of 50. So like 2% yeah. of all of the people who work for the church are confirmed the diddlers. Yeah. Like, and that, I was like, what kind of bullshit statistic is that? And it's like, says the Pope. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. I was like, you've got to be shitting me. That's what the Pope was willing to admit. Also, that means it's organized. If yeah, that it's also means it has to yeah. be worse than that. Yeah, yeah. It's That's some because organized that's shit. that's the official statement. Yeah. Oh yeah, about two percent of us are pedophiles. That's what the Pope says. There like, are I don't know thousands if you ever heard of people working for your church. Did you? That means break there the are. That means there are thousands of pedophiles that you know about. It just goes up and down. Oh uh, okay. Uh, Give also, them all up. My, I want the list of names, and I want them all removed from the church and possibly Joe from this. Get them. Hey, Joe Jerry's hey, gonna take them out. Look, uh, you're the one who said that you were gonna, you know, be down with Jesus. You <laughs> can go meet him and explain. Go meet him and explain My right son. now. I love the comments who are like, now do Islam. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like, a tit for tat. You guys, know. one, we already did. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. have a drawing of Muhammad on my fridge. Yeah, like we I'm totally not gonna, we're not going to say which one did it. Uh, <laughs> You'll have but to. their name starts with an E, and he <laughs> might be sitting next to me. <laughs> but, you know. Uh, yes, you'll have to actually watch the old podcast to figure out who did that. Ha, jokes on you. You can only get it on everything that isn't YouTube, actually. No, ha. Gotta, ha! Jokes on you. Go somewhere else, I guess. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I guess as long as you're still listening to us, it's not yeah, affecting it our looks bottom like line. You'll have to listen to every episode to find out. God, I, I don't even... Like, if somebody came Just to see me where, and was like, what episode is that? I'd be like, I have no clue. Have Just see where the episodes really. start, and then... Uh, Go to the other function and go back from there. Yeah, narrow it down for you. Yeah, 
It might even be something you know, in I'll it. I'll tell like, you what, I think just you go to Spotify, start with episode one, keep going till you get back to this one. Now you can skip you'll forward to like it. episode... Yeah, you'll get it, like, eventually. You'll get it. You can skip forward to like episode 15 or 20, because it was after I got there. Go to our Patreon, give us a dollar, go up from there, you'll find that it. Was, that was also that was the sh- second season when you got there, too. There's like 30 episodes where you're not there. Okay, I wasn't sure how many there were before I got there. There were a hundred and something. Before I got there, yeah, I will say I don't think it's like a great episode or anything. No, it's I don't think so. There were only like twenty available on YouTube when the quality. Yes, I got rid of them. Uh, The Ah, quality, quality (laughs) the quality is bad. Ah, Uh, So you only kept the ones you liked a little better. uh, No, not really. I just, I just wholesale just got rid of all of them. Really. So rest assured, Catholic faith, we did get Islam. Yeah, we, yeah, we. They were the first. Like, look, look, Catholics. It was Islam first, then the Jews, and now it's you. Exactly. You were, you were the third one. Also, you don't want to be made fun of. uh, Don't do shit that we can make fun of you for. Speaking of things that you can make Mm -hmm. fun of Catholics for, when I was a child, I once got told a story about a Catholic monk because I was raised Catholic, right? Who uh, was living in a monastery, and of course, as a monk, you can't, uh, you can't. He was some certain type of monk where he sure. couldn't. He they could have specific sex. kinds of vows. Yeah, he could have sex, but only with his wife. Fair. Okay. Can't that's jack pretty... off. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're just trying to keep you on the yeah. straight and narrow for the most part. The These are somewhat narrow. reasonable rules yeah. if you're just trying to live a straight edge. He life. lives in a monastery. You know, he it's works fine. in a monastery. Mm-hmm. Uh, his wife like lives in like the town down the road or something. Right. Okay. That's cool. Fine. His wife dies, Aww. and Oof. he's and he's like he's distraught. And his wife is getting buried, and uh, he can't jack off, and he can't fuck his wife because his wife's dead. He did not fuck that corpse. Not the corpse, Eric. Uh, he what? gathered a piece of his wife oh, uh, and no. kept it in his room, and uh, no. he used the uh, everybody's favorite technique: the the very front of the face. Uh, his wife's eye holes were apparently appropriately <laughs> sized. For his dick. He cut off her head? Yes. And kept it in his room. Oh, I thought he had cored out her vagina no. at first, which I don't know if that's better or worse now. All right, check this out. There's also... I just had a primal reaction to the words, cored out vagina. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen right? that. Will like, just turned blue like he's seen a ghost. Uh, <laughs> uh, none of this is okay, though. No, like, I, actually, contrary to popular belief, there were no rules against this. Air Bud could play basketball. Uh, it's just desecrating a corpse. Yeah, but like, it was your wife's corpse. Mm-hmm. So and you he's still owned technically, it. yeah, he's still technically having sex with his wife. And you gotta remember, this is the Vatican. Yeah, though well, this, uh, yeah, uh, this yeah, wasn't this the Vatican, was, and also this, this was, was hundreds of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so however, they said loophole achieved. Yeah, is yeah. That, like, you know, they said loophole <laughs> achieved, <laughs> and he got away with it, it for something achieved. Yeah, for something achieved. He got away with it for like a, a week or something. And yeah. Then, well, I you that meat. Yeah, uh, does this thing uh, after it oh, dies? No, no, no. There was no meat. That he he flayed it. It just it just the skull, just the bone. That was that was all. He, he was he, skull fucking her. Yeah, he was literally skull fucking. I got that his he was skull, skull fucking her, but he like prepped it too. Yeah. Do you yeah. think uh, bone would bone would not feel that good on your dick? Probably no. not. No. I don't need. I thought what about that you, a lot. Right, I mean, what would you put around the bone eye socket? That you can get in a in a monastery. Candle wax is all I can think. Like you might. Put some candles. Yeah, maybe you, you can cut up, up a little with... bit of like robe. Yeah, for that soft texture. See, we could figure this out. You and you and me will. Now you're just making a sex toy. I mean, yeah. that's, what your did. that's what he did. Yeah, out like, of your one dead out wife's skull. Out of your dead skull. wife's fucking skull. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, so they they invented a new rule. <laughs> no fucking your dead wife. You yeah, know, that makes sense. And uh, yeah, you can't fuck anyone after they die. As far as I know, uh, he stayed being a monk somehow. But uh, I Air Bud got to play basketball. Yeah, I mean, to Air be Bud fair, got to play basketball. Exactly. He caught he caught them in a loophole, and they realized they literally had to write a new rule because of it. <laughs> so they couldn't fire him. Yeah. for breaking a rule that they had not made yet. Can you get fired from being a monk? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's you called get excommunication. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I technically speaking, you can get fired you you without getting ask- excommunicated. They would just be like, "Son, I don't think this is the lifestyle for you." You need to go try to do something else. Do you, you think uh, if you ask the Pope, he'd excommunicate you? That's a good question. I don't like which Can Pope, you though. You know, ask like the, new the one? Pope to excommunicate. Like if I was you. a Make a Wish child. Yeah, and, and you were like, I, I want to go <laughs> to hell. And I, I made a wish for the Pope to excu- excommunicate me. Would he do it? He'd, he'd I probably don't think he can. Do you think he'd look at you and think you were possessed Why by a demon? Why don't you think the Pope can excommunicate people? 
I mean, it has can. to be a punishment. Like he can't, in good faith, you know, excommunicate. Punish someone. me, Pope! I've been a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, you start yeah, coming well, on to the Pope. Pope. <laughs> Watch out now! <laughs> He'll never excommunicate you for that. You'll be in the Catholic Church for the rest of your life. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> well, that only be this <laughs> kid's. This boy. kid's a make a wish mean, kid. If you It'll get be like caught, a you'll probably have to move churches and change your name occasionally. But yeah, no, he, that, that's a good way to be in the Catholic Church. He's a make a wish kid, Eric. It's his. The rest of his life's going to be like a mm-hmm. month oh, at most. I'll fulfill your wishes. Yeah. <laughs> You, you think that fill the, you up full of wish cream? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I really hope that the, the new Lord pope doesn't fuck love. kids. No, I I will say I don't in think fairness, the, pope does. Uh, the new pope seems okay. I wonder if that's like because we're not Catholic. He's been a little bit more progressive. It's a hundred percent because we're not Catholic. Yeah, the, the yeah, Catholics, Catholics not like don't him. like him. No, as much. the Catholics do not. From what I understand, the Catholic Church does not like the new pope. The one that standing much. right now is the one who tossed out the. Uh, the golden don't ask, don't tell. gilded uh, throne and had them make him a wooden one, didn't he? Yeah. I like that. That's cool. I got to admit, like, that's that's pretty based. He's also the guy who like, said, <laughs> I hey, can't argue with that. Maybe marry the gays. <laughs> True. You don't have to accept them as members of your church, but maybe we marry them. Also, he's the same pope who said, hey, maybe the Marxists have a point. Did he say anything bad? Has he said anything bad? Did he do, like, a Dalai Lama tongue, tongue in a boy thing? Not yet. Not that I know of. I'm sure he's done something, right? He's he stuck his tongue in a few boys. Okay. He's done who of us better hasn't? about the molesting thing because he's. What do you mean he's done better about? It? How do you do better he's about cut molesting? Back, thing? Okay, he's cut yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, he had a real problem. <laughs> well, he's sharing information with the public now. That's true. And uh, so I I feel like it's not nowhere near enough. You know. Every single priest that did this should be excommunicated and handed over to local law enforcement. This is a weird episode. Star Wars and Catholics. What do you mean it's a weird you episode? Know. We've changed topics every five minutes. So this Catholics, is a very you're brand. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on brand. <laughs> it's on brand. Here's the thing. All episode. Catholics, I have this to say to you and just this. I love if you. you guys and I want to touch on you. your own get rid of those guys and kick them all out of your church then people will start trusting you again. How would you even do that? If you don't and you keep defending them, we're going to keep making fun of you because you're the ones harboring the pedophiles. I'm going to keep making fun of them anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're never going to be above I I will say all of you are weirdos. I mean, you, you think the body of not. Christ turns into an actual body. You, yeah, you're yeah. cannibals. Yeah. You're self-admitted cannibals. Yeah. That's like, that's a big part of their religion. Will. That doesn't really so guess bother what? me so much. I don't take like, back the weirdo you know, comment. You're weirdos. You, you can think have you drink weird blood. rituals. That's fine. I don't care they about believe your it. weird no, rituals. No, they think that the blood, the wine turns into blood. That's a real thing in I, Catholicism. Look, I know. I know how that goes. <laughs> Eric's like, yeah. Okay. It's just, so don't, I don't look at me like I'm being the crazy one there. They're the crazy ones. They uh, think that they're doing cannibalism. Bro, have you ever seen magic? No, it doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> What are you talking about? All religions are ridiculous. Have you ever there seen is Eric, no such thing I'm as magic. I'm just telling you that they're there are cannibals. no magical men in the sky. They're cannibals. There are no mythical creatures. Catholics are cannibals, Eric. They can call it whatever the fuck they want. They still just <laughs> ate a cracker and drank grape All juice. All I'm saying is I ain't going to the Catholic barbecue. Uh, what's wrong, man? You don't want to fry up a little blood and body want any, of blood of Christ? I don't want some long pig. <laughs> yeah, some uh, long Christ. Bro, I don't know if you know this. But Mexico is like 90% Catholic, and I am game for any Mexican barbecue. I'm just saying. <laughs> I am just Eric's saying. That's what down, Mexican food is. If you have been out with some Mexicans, if you have been out with some Mexicans at a barbecue, you would not be saying that because a Mexican barbecue, I mean a big family too. Like get you like 20 people. Out. Which, religion, which religion has the best cooks? I'm going with the Mennonites. I was just going to say like, no, they cook bland food. You're fucking wrong. Mm-mm. It's definitely not the Jews. The Jews have like the worst food in the world. Yeah. It's like yeah. bagels. Uh, Jew, Jew food bad. Yeah. But, Jew, um, big funny Jew food bad. I keep finding curly hair in it. Um, mm. Mm. I would say <laughs> Baptists maybe. Baptists probably cook up some ribs. Uh, they do like yeah, they do pretty decent barbecue. Jehovah's Witness. I bet Jehovah's no, Witness cooks no, some good no food. Way. You don't think so? Nah. I bet Jehovah's Witness cook up some like ribs, some Mormons? mean ribs. What do you think Mormons do? Ooh, ooh. ooh. Mormons are very divor- diverse. I feel like so. Ooh. Probably like steak and wine. Shit. They got like a lot of shit. What is the uh, oh Rastafarians? Ooh. I bet you they got some jerked chicken to die for. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Like Jamaican chicken, chicken good good. is fucking delicious. Oh they got God, some right. wonderful recipes. Jews might have good food just because they have a lot of lamb-based stuff. 
Yeah, but like a Lamb lot of it's so like good, really though. bland. Like no. they also have gefilte fish and whatever, where yeah. it's like shitty fucking fish. I'll tell you, here. you don't you see a lot lamb? of it around yeah. here. You want to go to uh, you want to go to town? There's after a place this to get some lamb. Yeah, where you can get lamb. Really? Yeah, yeah in, in the town in down the road. No, no, and in, in, uh dang it, I said. The I know thing. if you go all yeah, the way over, that. not you, here, in like thirty miles away. If you went all ah. the way over to like Tupelo or something. Oh, I know the place. I know that there is a there's a restaurant uh in the downtown area down there. Um, that serves uh, lamb. Yeah, and you they, can get it from Barnes. Something called like a lamb lollipop where you got like the big bone and a big hunk of meat at the end of it. And yeah, oof. you're talking about... No, yeah. it's not... It's near them. Oh, yeah? I think that they're... Greek, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, That guy creeps me the fuck out. The guy who... Wants yeah, he's weird. But, yeah. um... <laughs> that, that that makes him weird. Is he's, it he's, he's like Greek? locally famous to a certain degree. Yeah. He owns a lot of businesses. He cooks a lot of food. He's weird. He never shuts up. He's yeah. like, he's very serious. He's like nice enough. And he's like, he's nice in a community. creepy way. That's like, what it is. Yeah. Like you can look him up on. Give me an impression of him. Uh, it would just be being a Jew. He just, he's like, he, that's what it is. He's like your generic <laughs> sneaky Jew archetype. Like that's ex like he even sounds like it. He acts he's like rubbing it. his hands. Yeah, he's just like, fucking. I mean, weird, does he dude. sound like just an old Jewish guy? This yeah, is just kinda. a stereotyping, by the way. He's a, he doesn't really do weird things. He's just like awkward. No, yeah, he's kind of. I mean, like what he cares about. He cares about like he hides his own behind posts a lot. Yeah, yeah, he, he does. Likes he to, he likes to make businesses, it. and those businesses tend to succeed. Wait, wait, so. you're telling me? Okay. You're telling me? I'm just wanting to get this correct. This old Jewish guy. Owns a lot of businesses, <laughs> has a lot of capital within the downtown area that we're nearby. It's kind of weird, kind of mysterious. Um, Eric, could you get like one of your, a few of your friends together? Maybe we can take care of this guy. I mean, I know you've got a few contacts. Could, you mean this successful American business owner who's been giving back to the community Look, for decades? If he decades? was a German business owner, then it would be an entirely okay, different. Let me ask Why you, does it matter if he's an American? Uh, Eric, Eric, let me ask you this. Uh, this is important. What color is his hair? I probably black or gray, I guess. <laughs> it's like salt and pepper, dude. It's uh, it's white. He's 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 an old man. Okay, 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 okay. What color is his eyes? Fuck if I know. I've Have you done any guy. like phrenology on him? Like, yeah, what's his, like, his skull shape? Yeah, what's his skull shape? I know you and your boys get together and, and <laughs> I'll study this kind yeah. of thing. Yes, I'm, yes, yes. They call course. you Measure Head <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> Sorry, Measure that's... Head. He has like one of those like uh, skull measuring devices. He's like hold still. Yeah, yeah. I got to be honest. If I'm not sizing uh, hats, I don't really see a lot of use in phrenology. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. I mean, your like, friends you know, do. I get it. You, you just uh, you're the haberdasher. <laughs> you, you just help them out. I get it. Yeah, they call they call you the haberdasher. No, I sell haberdasher. them all illegal. Somebody who makes hats. A haberdasher. Yeah, haberdasher. Where did that word come from? I, I would assume Germany. Probably sounds kind of think it's Northern German? European. Does yeah. not sound German to me. Well, I mean, also they were doing a lot of head measuring over there. They had to have a name for it that didn't sound like phrenology. Sit, mm. to sit for the haberdasher. Sit down, von Dingen. Sit down. It's called the yeah. My, yeah they used to just call him. Is the, that your uh, German impression? Yeah. That's pretty good, dude. Jew identifier, <laughs> you know, and then they decide that was a little too on the nose. And also, you know, we're perfectly OK with killing other minorities. That's so true. They, they had to give it a slightly better name than yeah. that. So, you know, I wonder. So the Grand Jew Finder General. I wonder who the <laughs> very Grand Jew Finder General. We got to get a, a, a uh, new name for him. Yeah. Uh, who do you think was the very first minority person to get killed? Probably, like, God. Was, like, Probably I mean, like some albino dude in Africa just got fucking mauled uh, by you're rocks. You're totally right. Like back in caveman yeah, days, yeah. some guy got born albino and they were like, he's cursed. Yeah, yeah. Sling that cursed. baby around. Yeah. <laughs> they fed him to the lions. They dude. would think there's something wrong with him. And to be fair, they'd be kind of right. Like, dude, if you were an albino in that'd Africa, be hard yeah. to fucking live. Like, yeah. you'd just die of sun cancer or something. Yeah, you'd die of, like, you'd die of sunburn probably. Yeah, like, like legitimately. They would be, they wouldn't know how to, like, account he for also that. was like it had a weird obsession with making everyone slaves it was not yeah yeah he was, was a really weird guy <laughs> honestly if you look back in history and you read up on that guy weird dude honestly weird dude. well anyways that's been the anything cast folks thank you for listening i'm patrick i'm eric and i'm albino will my phrenology textbook will decide that <laughs> <laughs>